Turning now to the contenders for this year's People's Millions. Earlier this year, we asked you to nominate community projects which you thought deserved lottery grants of up to £50,000 each. Well, we have now whittled down your suggestions to a shortlist, and this week, everyone has a chance to help decide who gets the money. Every night for the next four nights, we will feature two projects and then ask you to phone in your votes. So, first up, a project in East London for students who have disabilities and another in West London which helps young cricketers. Here's Sally Rook. Elijah is one of around 40 students at Eastleigh Community School with either multiple learning difficulties or complex needs, many of whom come the summer are simply stuck inside. When the, the sun is blazing down and this is a hot area, we don't have air conditioning, where do our young people want to be? They want to be outside. We have nothing for them outside. We have to be inside in the summer, but there's no play area suitable for our wheelchair kids. So. Here is their solution, a trike track with five sensory stations and specially adapted trikes like this. Uh, there will be a disability swing which will be adapted so they can take wheelchairs. Gravity gets to me and makes me hyper. <laughs> so this swing will be good for you? Yeah. There will be a sensory garden which will have raised beds so that they can do some gardening. It goes to be great. It's going to be great. There's a sand area, water area, and there's a games area. And the track will allow them to ride the playground with the wind going through their hair. And what bit are you most looking forward to? It's right in the back. What do you think? Good. We want to open up this trike track for all young people with disability in the community, other schools. Uh, we want it to be a trike track that everyone can use. And they need this, don't they? They need it. So the plea from Eastleigh is vote for them and you're sure to see a few more smiles. Smile at the camera. <laughs> Plastic stumps, tarmac and tennis balls. This is cricket, but not as you'd know it. As you can see, it's, uh, it's very, very uh, greasy and not ideal and uh, as a space, the size of it doesn't really lend itself very much to, uh, to the students playing cricket. Their longing for something else at Featherstone High School is evident in their eyes. And here lies their solution, called How's At Community Cricket. This is the area that we're going to develop. Uh, through here we'll have three state-of-the-art cricket lanes surrounded by nets and it will all be under an all-weather canopy. So rain or shine, night or day, our cricketers will be able to play. Imagine if someone from Salto became a cricket star, how exciting would that be? It's through opportunities like this where cricket stars rise. So now if there's nothing here, then we won't be able to see the future of cricket in England. We serve an area that um, has significant disadvantage and we're ranked sixth poorest in London and in the top or the bottom 10% of schools for deprivation factors nationally. So this project will reach out to thousands of students through 30 primary and six secondary schools. I think that cricket is a um, great game and it will teach you about respect and skills to learn and it will be great for the community. And you haven't even got a field, so this will be halfway yeah. to at least letting them play. Yeah. As far as the health and safety is concerned, it's very, very important. How much do you want it? A lot. A lot. <laughs> very much. Vote this way and these sad faces will also turn to smiles. And in How's That's Community Cricket's own words, how's that? OK, so those are our first two People's Millions contenders. Here's where you get dialing. To vote for Eastleigh Sensory Trike Track, call 0871 626 8847. Or for How's That Community Cricket, call 0871 626 8848. Calls cost 10 pence per call from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. No profits are made by ITV or the Big Lottery Fund from your calls. Lines will close at midnight tonight and calls made after closing time won't be counted but may still be charged. Terms and conditions can be found at itv.com forward slash terms. And we will tell you who's won on tomorrow's London Tonight when we'll also report on two more organisations in the running for the People's Millions. From the big society now to People's Millions, where you help decide who wins a lottery grant of up to £50,000. A few months back, we asked you to nominate deserving community projects, 
And the time has now come to name the first actual winner. Last night, we asked you to consider two contenders. One, called the Easterly Sensory Trike Track, is for students in Newham who have disabilities. The other was Howzat Community Cricket in Southall, which, as the name implies, helps young cricketers. But who gets the big check? Sally Rook, it is over to you. Hi there, Ben. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I've been hidden away in the satellite truck in a secret location because the bright red coat and the enormous check kind of give the game away. Now, it's for £50,000, but I'm not going to tell you who it's for until we get inside, because when we do, there's a load of people knowing that if they see me, they won. So come on, challenge Annika style. Let's go and let them know. Challenge Annika with a bit less lycra at the moment, anyway. In we go. Try not to watch me run, because it's not a pretty sight. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Woo! As you can see, Danny, congratulations. Thanks very much. We're absolutely Thanks delighted. So Just tell us briefly a little bit about this trike track and what it's going to bring to the children here. Well, the, the trike track, we're, we're going to lay down a track in our playground. We're going to build five sensory stations that, that our young people, not only our, uh, our, our young people with disability, but our young people, able-bodied students, we work together, play together, uh, just to really enjoy the outside in the summer, to, to use the trikes around the, the, around the playground, to use the sensory stations. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be a great, great facility for us. Well, congratulations, and it means that they can, of course, in the summer, get out of here and get outside you must be absolutely delighted our commiserations of course go to how's that community cricket because they were a great project as well but now i let these guys bid you farewell with their fifty thousand pounds sally thank you and uh, if that doesn't make you feel good i don't know what will as sally says commiserations of course to the how's that community cricket project in southall but all may not be lost on friday all the week's runner-up projects will go head-to-head -head with a bonus award going to the one with the most votes. Right now...